Hi, right, good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. US 30 there is uh, slowly drifting down below potential support at 17,075, uh, even as the S&P 500 reached another fresh all-time high yesterday. And uh, on Facebook's earnings were slightly better than expected. They reached an all-time ever high and uh, I think finished up about 4% higher. Uh, with Apple still leading the way as their margins were protected as more people disseminated their earnings, they also helped to propel the S&P up that little bit higher. US 30 not so good though with Boeing results coming out uh, a little bit worse than what was expected. Well, some aspects of the results anyway were worse than expected. They were down about 4% at one point as well and a big drag on the Dow. And um, as you see there, we actually had a doji formation there last night and we've got a bearish engulfing pattern happening right now. Um, most European markets are on the slide this morning um, and FX is relatively flat apart from Euro Yen which continues to lose uh, traction. So moving on to the UK 100, um, as you'll be able to see there we had quite a strong reversal last night after such a real uh, good start to the session breaking up through both moving averages right there. We've got another bearish engulfing pattern right now and we are on the crust of a very important uh, short term support level, potential support level at 67 74 and uh, we had a little dip below there today hitting the 21 period SMA and it's uh, just on the right side of the line right now um, but the markets look weak in the very short term. Moving on to Japan 225 um, because of those moving dollar yen it's been quite volatile actually it's not not really picking a specific direction um, Japan 225 has been quite similar as Chinese PMI uh, came out today beating expectations most Asian markets got a little bit of a shot in the arm China 850 up 2%, Hong Kong 43 up a, up a fraction, uh, with Japan 25 not really getting that much benefit though, but it's off, off the session lows and they're pretty much bang on, on that 21 period SMA. Uh, long term potential resistance remains at 15488. Moving on to dollar yen, uh, it's beginning to flatten out as is cable and euro dollar actually. Um, really begin to hug the 21 period SMA right here. 101 spot 35 is the strategic level to watch in the short term. A break or close or bounce of that level could be the next move for uh, for dollar yen. They're saying that it has been that slow grind lower uh, since basically the start of 2014 that most traders have been looking at. So moving on to crude oil West Texas, uh, another re-challenge close to 105 yesterday, another failure to break through today. Uh, 105 is probably one of the more interesting levels for crude of a lot of the products we've looked at there today. Um, if you look at this even in the shorter time frame, let's switch on to the five minute interval for a second. Um, this can give you a bit of an idea of what we've seen. So um, it doesn't look so good for it breaking up higher to be honest, but um, this is the level to go ahead and have a look at. So looking at gold now and moving on, um, you're looking like you've got a potential drop down to support, potential support at 12.95. Um, and this is uh, quite a strategic level again, also the 55 period SMA and a break and close below 12.95 would open up next move to 12.67. Finishing up with Euro dollar and dollar yen, uh, moving at 13, um, one spot 34.55, uh, we're breaking below potential support. Uh, another move below that would open up the next level at one spot 32. Uh, or, or sorry, one spot 33 would be the next level. We've had a dip below there, but then a move back up to one spot 34.55, which is a short term support. Uh, and it is looking quite flat right now as well. Uh, finishing up with GBP USD, very similar move to Euro dollar. On the wrong side of one spot uh, 70.48, and looking at the next potential support being one spot 70, effectively. Remember to keep an eye on the chart forum and insights. And uh, looking at the economic calendar, uh, you do have uh, German PMI and Eurozone PMI coming out, then retail sales at 9.30, then US jobless claims later on today. And if you finish up there on Friday, you've got UK GDP and durable goods due. So uh, if you're looking at GBP USD or the UK 100, there's a lot of UK uh, specific news coming out. And join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.